Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sebastian and I'll be showing you how to create awesome, good-looking text effects within the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. But first, I appreciate every single one of you watching there and if this video is any helpful to you, please consider leaving a like because this would help the channel and the growth a lot. With that being said, this is what we are creating today. Alright, so we are straight in DaVinci Resolve in the edit page right now and what we want to do first is create a fusion composition. To do this, go to effects library, this drop down opens, then go to effects and then there is fusion composition and just drag it in there. This is just the default length, this is 5 seconds, which is fine. Now highlight this, put your cursor above it and then just go to the fusion page. So once in the Fusion page, what I do first, you don't have to do this, but it helps me uh, stay on point a lot. Just right click, click Arrange Tools and Arrange This to Grid. What this does is you see those, those lines and it snaps onto them. So it's basically more organized. So what we want to do next is add a background node. Just add a background and go to inspector and let's make our background white right show this on the second and show this on the first so and just connect these so we got our background and what we want to do next is add a merge node just drag it in there and now hold shift on your keyboard and just drag it on your timeline and once uh, the line turns blue you can just let it let go of it and it's automatically connected so now just drag a text in and let's say we call this um, just call this text then choose a font you like or uh, let's uh, stay classic and just call this text. So now connect this to the merge node and now you see media out. It's not showing anything. That's because our text is white as well. So let's turn this black and boom, there you have your text. So let's resize it to your desired needs. Let's say I want to make this this big and drag it a little more to the top side. So now let's go ahead and copy this text and then just click on the free space somewhere and paste it hit uh, to copy hit Control c to paste it hit Control v so the next thing we want to do is uh, click on this text one and grab another merge node and connect this to between text one and merge one so it looks like this now just grab your text 1.1 and connect this to this as well so now click on the text 1.1 and add a transform node. On, in the transform node, just hit uh, flip horizontally. So there you go. Then create a rectangle mask and connect this. Uh, make the rectangle like the size of just just like that so that it covers your text maybe a little bit bigger so what we want to do next is this rectangle mask and soften the edges well, let's drag this a little bit up so you see this just the beginning of the ref uh, the reflection effect so now we need to animate this so let's say we want to end this animation at frame 60. So we hit our keyframe there. So let's say we want to make this 20 frames animation. So we go to frame 40. And what we want to do now is go to Y and drag this up. 
like this so basically just drag it up until you can't see your reflection text below there anymore and yeah that's it it looks something like this all right so to make this even look better click on the transform node hit shift spacebar and search for gaussian blur there we have it click add and let's move the, those to the side a little so gaussian blur and like this something like this so let's keep going with the neon effect and let's just drag a background and connect this to our media out um let's make our background one and this uh, purple just for the sake you don't have to make this purple so now what we want to do next is create a text node and call this neon and then just pick a font you like i just pick neon lights and then just copy this and paste it two times no we don't need that and all right make this a a neon color like a bright yellow and then just copy this paste it there so this is yellow as well and this one we actually make it a dark yellow so let's go there and almost black all right just create a merge node hold shift on your keyboard drag it on the timeline and then connect your text like this so it looks like this actually make it a little bit bigger let's go with uh, 0 0.1 and there as well 0 0.1 So the next step is go ahead and go to text one, hit shift spacebar and search for soft glow and add. And then just hit shift spacebar again and then just hit glow and click on add. And remember, this is the free version, so everybody has this. So now go ahead and go in the third text node, hit shift spacebar and search for box blur and add this. So once this is done, go to soft glow, gain maybe a little bit brighter and glow size, put this up and yeah, blend you can just go a little bit down something like 0 0.8, which is fine. So now go to glow. Uh, fast Gaussian is fine. There, everything's fine. Go to apply mode, go to a threshold, and then just change this to something around 0.75. So now you want to go ahead, go to box blur, and go strengthen this out. Just go around 0.76 or something like this. Then we want to create another merge node and merge all this together, like this and that. And then create another merge node hold shift on your keyboard let go on the timeline and then put it right there and let's say we want to make a flicker effect starting at frame 20 so we go ahead and go ahead and go to merge 3 go to blend and put it all the way down now use your arrow keys go one frame forward go up go one frame forward go down to zero one frame forward and up one frame forward and down and from there you can just skip a few frames go up go one frame forward go down skip another few frames and then just go up again and yeah that's it so now let's create the write on effect, which is uh, personally my favorite text effect. And let's start just with a basic background. Leave this black and we just keep it simple here. Bring on a text, call this 
right on. So now let's say it doesn't matter at all. Just pick a text font that you like that maybe looks like handwritten or something. And just go with that. Put up the size a little bit. So now merge this to the uh, merge this to the background and media out by clicking the merge node. Hold shift on your keyboard. Just hover over this line and it's connected. Now connect this. So that's pretty fine like that. And then we want to hit shift spacebar again, search mask paint, hit add. All right. That was a mistake. Obviously we want to not ma uh, merge it to our media out. We want to merge it to the text node. So now let's go ahead, click on mask paint, go to uh, the inspector tab, click on mask, which is the second tab and then hit invert. So you see your text right now. Now click on the text and put it to the size you want. Something like this. And then click on mask paint again. And there you see the multiple stroke and this change this to stroke. Then go to controls, go to brush controls. And now change the size until the circle uh, around your mouse is covering all the letters, like something like this. And then go to stroke controls, stroke animation, and then just hit right on. So now once this is all set, just left click uh, on your mouse and then just drag over this. So this is all covered in black. Something like this. And you see there, just created a whole bunch of keyframes. So now what we want to do next is click on mask paint, go to mask and click on invert again, because what this does is it is off right now. And once you play it back, it starts writing this on. But what you want to do now is this is pretty slow. Go to your keyframes and then you see your keyframes down there. Go to mask paint, go to stroke. So now select the time stretch tool on the bottom left and now highlight those, which brings up this little box right here. Now just click in there and make this something really short. So now let's come to our fourth and last text effect for what we don't need the fusion page. So now go to titles, go to text plus and drag this on your timeline. So now it says custom title. Let's hit inspector and call this something like typewriter typewriter. This is fine. And therefore I've just downloaded a font, which is 1942 report. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can download this as well for free. So let's just hit this and there you see it's just a basic text, right? So there you see the write on effect. And let's say we want to make this at the beginning, start at the beginning. And we want to start it at right there. Then we want to go maybe a few frames forward. And then let's just expand this. Right? This is just the basic typewriter effect. And you can sell this even more when you have a typewriter sound effect. This is the one I use. Just drag it down here and it's literally just a sound effect, which sells this effect even more. And this is maybe one of the coolest text effects ever because with the sound effect, it's just perfect. And it's so easy to do. You don't have to enter the fusion page. You just have to download a free font, which looks something like this or whatever you want. Uh, then just download some sound effects and you're good to go. All right, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you liked it. Hope you got value out of it. If so, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe because this would help the channel a lot. And with that being said, that's it for me now. See you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.